Welcome back. Today, we're going to explore the history of the Turkish flag, also known as the Turkey Bayrak, or simply, Al Bayrak, in Turkish. Did you know that the current Turkish flag has its roots in the Ottoman Empire? Let's dive into the fascinating journey of how the flag evolved over time. In the early days of the Ottoman Empire, the Turks, famous for their nomadic horsemen from Central Asia, used banners instead of flags. These early Ottoman banners often displayed a red color and the crescent moon, alongside a scimitar or sword known as Zulfikar. As the empire progressed, different units began to be associated with specific colors. The army fought under a red banner, while the elite personal troops of the Sultan, the Janissaries, fought under a white banner. The colors red and white gained great significance during this period and would later feature prominently on the Ottoman and Turkish flags. The crescent moon, a symbol said to have originated with the conquest of Constantinople in 1453, appeared on early Ottoman flags. Its precise origins are debated, with some claiming it had Byzantine roots, while others suggest it was used by Central Asian tribesmen. Green, an important color in Islam, was also used on various flags worn by sultans and appeared on some Ottoman flags. Over time, the Ottoman Empire adopted a standardized flag for its merchant ships, featuring a red background, a white crescent moon, and an eight-pointed star. In 1844, this flag became the official flag of the Ottoman Empire as part of the Tanzimat reforms, aimed at modernizing and aligning with European practices. During this period, a distinction was made, reserving green for religious flags and using red for secular flags. As the Ottoman Empire faced conflicts with Russia and Bulgaria in the late 19th century, the Red Crescent began to be associated with Islam as a whole, leading to the establishment of the Red Crescent Organization. With the fall of the Ottoman Empire after World War I, the Republic of Turkey emerged in 1923. It adopted the last Ottoman flag, making slight changes in 1936, resulting in the modern Turkish flag we know today. The flag features a red background, a white crescent moon, and a five-pointed star. It's fascinating to see how the Ottoman flag's symbolism influenced flags of successor nations, particularly in North Africa, where countries like Algeria, Libya, and Tunisia incorporated the crescent moon and star into their own flags. Flags hold deep historical and cultural significance, representing the identity of nations and their people. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of the Turkish flag's evolution. If you'd like to see more videos on flags and their historical backgrounds, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.